Hello everyone, next topic to learn is Histology of the testis or Microscopic Structure of the testis. Male reproductive system consists of a pair of gonads called as testes and epididymis and in the testis the spermatogenesis happens and in the epididymis the formed spermatozoa are getting matured and these matured spermatozoa are transported through an elongated tubular passage called as vas deferens. Vas deferens joins with the seminal vesicles to form the ejaculatory duct. This is happening within the prostate gland and further this ejaculatory duct opens to the prostatic part of the urethra. And the last part is the male urethra. So these are the parts of male reproductive system. The testis shows a thick connective tissue capsule that is the tunica albuginea which covers the testis and the posterior aspect of this tunica albuginea will get thickened and that will dip into the testis and forms the mediastinum testis and a thin connective tissue septum which extends from the mediastinum towards the substance of the testis and these septa are dividing the testis into several incomplete lobules. Each testis shows around 250 incomplete lobules. These are called as testicular lobules. And in each lobules we can see several highly coiled tubular structures called as seminiferous tubules. And each seminiferous tubules consist of various types of cells. These are the germinal epithelium. In a sectioned picture of the testis, what we see here is the seminiferous tubule and these seminiferous tubules shows presence of various types of cells. These are the supporting cells or Sertoli cells and the interstitial cells or Leydig cells and also clusters of various spermatogonial cells and these spermatogenic cells. Additionally in between these seminiferous tubules we can see the connective tissue embedded with the vessels. Let us learn in detail about each varieties of the cells seen. First one is the supporting cells or also called as Sertoli cells. And these cells are very tall columnar cells. And these are extending very from very close to the basal lamina towards the surface epithelium or towards the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. There are various functions for these Sertoli cells. Number one provides mechanical support to the spermatogenic cells. And these Sertoli cells are providing nutrition and nourishment to the spermatogenic cells. And Sertoli cells forms the blood testis barrier that is an immune response and prevent the entry of pathogens towards the spermatogenic area. And these Sertoli cells are secreting an antigen binding protein and also secretes transferrin. These Sertoli cells also secrete another hormone called as inhibin that inhibits the release of follicle stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary. Another important function of the Sertoli cell is to synthesize the anti-mullerian hormone. This anti-mullerian hormone which inhibits the formation of female reproductive system. Next variety of cells are called as interstitial cells. These are also called as Leydig cells or interstitial cells of Leydig. Actually these are larger cells which are rounded or polyhedral in shape. And this lies in the connective tissue which is present between the seminiferous tubules. And their nuclei are eccentrically placed, may not be exactly in the center. And these Leydig cells or interstitial cells are secreting the male sex hormone that is testicular androgens. So they are endocrine in function. Next let us learn various types of spermatogenic cells. The first to learn is spermatogonial cells. So these spermatogonial cells are the stem cells from which the spermatozoa are derived. And these cells lie very close to the basal lamina and they are undergoing several mitotic divisions. 
these mitotic divisions give rise to more spermatogonial cells and then they are getting converted to primary spermatocytes and there are three types of spermatogonial cells dark type a light type a and type b so type a there are two types dark light and then type b spermatogonial cells and this type a both dark and light their nuclei are oval and their nuclei are at eccentrically placed and these are attached to the nuclear membrane and in type b spermatogonial cells their nuclei are spheric next is primary spermatocytes so these primary spermatocytes are formed after the mitotic division of spermatogonia so these primary spermatocytes are comparatively larger and their location will be almost the middle of the seminiferous tubules and these primary spermatocytes that will undergo meiosis to give rise to two secondary spermatocytes so the secondary spermatocytes are formed by the division of primary spermatocytes so each secondary spermatocytes has a haploid number of chromosomes and these are smaller than the primary spermatocytes and they divide into form two spermatids spermatids are rounded cells and they have spherical nuclei these spermatids are arranged as clusters and these are located very close to the lumen of the seminiferous tubule further these spermatids are undergoing certain morphological changes to get converted into spermatozoa the spherical spermatids are undergoing changes to convert to get converted into spermatozoa this process is called as spermiogenesis so morphological change or conversion of spermatids to spermatozoa is called as spermiogenesis so spermatozoa will uh, will be motile and they will be elongated further these spermatozoa undergo maturation and capacitation in order to get fertilization so these are the various spermatogenic cells present in the seminiferous tubules these are spermatogonial cells primary spermatocytes secondary spermatocytes spermatids and spermatozoa this is the histological slide showing you section seminiferous tubule region and here you could see various types of spermatogenic cells and also the interstitial cells with the connective tissues and blood vessels in between last few clinical conditions related to the testes so testicular carcinoma so this is the malignancy which can happen to the testicles so there will be swelling and the pain in the scrotal region and also the pain may radiate to umbilical region and also to the associate which will be associated with the back pain urkitis means inflammation that can happen to the testes this can happen secondary to the mumps infection because mumps virus have affinity towards the gonads testes in males and ovary in females thank you for watching this short video of histology of testes